Mm-hmm. And oh. um, black, uh, black roller skating kids. Mm-hmm. Is that right? And a kangaroo. And a muscular old man cyborg. We don't call them kangaroos. We call them African-Americans, you racist. <laughs> <laughs> I think Sega would do very well to endorse some fan games because Sega has a, a diehard fan base that grew up with uh, the Genesis and then even into the Dreamcast who are now capable of making their own games uh, based on the very games that people like myself would love to buy if Sega touched them. But if Sega doesn't touch them, they might as well let other people do it and endorse it for, for PR and to keep their yeah. IP alive. Yeah, it would be a great idea. And this um, this extends to Jonathan Holmes's penis as well. If if yeah. I can't If I can't touch it, I endorse other people doing it. <laughs> I didn't know that about you. you oh, yeah. you, you're you're pro just any sort of my genitalia being touched. <laughs> yeah, um, you're a supporter of that. There's yeah. very little difference in my mind between your penis and an itchy bum buffet. <laughs> both both are spicy, both are tasty, uh, and and both can be grabbed hold of by any fucker. <laughs> I really hope not. I don't like to think of me as just being that kind of loose trade, you know? <laughs> I don't think I'm I'm that that easy. I think that I uh got to be won over a little bit before the the stuff gets touched, right? Right, Conrad? No. Nice. Well, that was the purpose of the entire podcast as I understand it, right? <laughs> <laughs> to win me over? <laughs> this is this has just been a, a two-year yeah. Attempt to to get me uh, to let my guard down sexually. <laughs> the whole thing has been one big sales pitch. <laughs> we've we've not been recording a gaming podcast. We've been negotiating um, for your sweet sweet ass. Speaking of <laughs> speaking what, of which, what is it? It's like that. It's like that old Winston Churchill joke. Um, you know, where he asks a woman if I paid you twenty thousand pounds, would you sleep with me? And she says, why, yes, Mr. Churchill, I think I would. And he said, well, what if I gave you 20 pounds? And she says, well, what kind of woman do you take me for? And, and he says, well, we've already established that. Now we're just negotiating price. <laughs> this was uh, the exactly. president of England, Winston Churchill? The prime minister. Prime minister. Right, president. Yeah. But, but while I'm reminded of the subject, Jonathan, yes. uh, you tweeted something last night. Oh, no. Um, the The... <sighs> that my wife told me about, and it made me laugh. Um, I didn't see it directly, because I wasn't checking my phone. But you tweeted last night about, and do forgive me, listeners, for some reason I can talk about anything, but this particular subject strikes me as lower brow than anything else. Uh Uh-oh. I'm just going to put it out there. You were talking about farts. <laughs> yes, I was. Yes, you have a problem with 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 blow-offs, with windy pops, with <sighs> the breaking of the wind, with anal gusting. That's uh, uh, <laughs> with a re- with rectal whirlwinds. I <laughs> uh, I'll give Bottom a little <laughs> I'll give a quick context. I was staying late at my day job because I had the day off today, which meant I had to do pretty much all of today's paperwork the day before so i was staying late i was eating meatballs i was tired and sad and i farted alone (laughs) in a room while i was typing terrible paperwork that was just so boring it was like almost nine o'clock i'd been there for over 12 hours and uh then a nurse came in just suddenly was like hey you know that patient you arrested yesterday I'm sorry, let me start that over. Hey! You know that patient you discharged yesterday? We just got a call from the cops! They were arrested! They punched someone in the face! Your co-worker is Navi from Ocarina of Time. (laughs) Hey! Hey! Listen! (laughs) Yeah, and I'm like, oh, I just (laughs) farted, and it's awful. (laughs) And you just came in here unannounced to tell me that someone that I helped leave the Lock Psychiatric Hospital has just assaulted a police officer so you're like emotionally farting on me by just telling me that i must have done a terrible job if i discharged someone who was in uh poor straits enough to punch a cop and now you're 
smelling my fart and judging me for being a lone office farter. And it just made me think, no. why? Why? Yeah. Oh, that can be Jack yeah, the that's... next game. Instead of the sequel to Lone Survivor, just Lone Office Farter. <laughs> you play a, a man in a small office with a typewriter, has to be a typewriter, eating soggy meatballs and just farting alone in his own misery. While a nurse occasionally comes in to let him know how he's failing at his job. <laughs> um, I would play it. That would, uh, that would, I would relate. You to that. already, but uh, maybe, yeah. That's the story of my yeah. life as of yesterday. But I didn't. I couldn't figure out why, at this day and age, with the internet, and pretty soon we're gonna have cars that drive themselves, and you know, uh, all sorts of uh, progressions and social. Movements. We got black president, gay marriage, but we still have smelly farts. <laughs> How is that okay? Why? Why wasn't that taken care of first? I know. It, um, it's annoying, isn't it, Jonathan? And yes. I, I agree with you. There should be a filter or something. And that got me to thinking. Mm-hmm. Hear me out. I have invented the answer to your problem. You have. I have invented your wildest dreams. <laughs> I have come up with an idea. It's only in the pl- uh, planning phases, but it's already built, essentially, and it just needs testing uh, in my lab in Boston. Your house. <laughs> the patented Sterling Core fart filter. Wow. Sterling Core. Sterling Core. That's my new company. And... Mm. Now, your problem with farts mainly is they smell, which isn't good in the modern world, is it, Jonathan? Well, no, it uh, it's, uh, leaves a social stigma. Uh, <laughs> social uh, stigma, yes. Yeah, the, the guy who farts, you know, it's very embarrassing. But mm-hmm. we all want to keep the pleasure of farting. It's one of life's little mysteries. And we don't want that taken away from us, not by man or beast. But we can make it better on our noses and the noses of those around us with the Sterling Core fart filter. Um, it's an interesting conversion system that involves uh, a machine that clamps itself gently to your anus, uh, which you can affix before you fart or wear all night. And then it converts the smelly farts into a lovely waft, a pleasant aroma for that the whole room can enjoy. And you still get to have funny Trump sounds, uh, but without any of that dirty, Trumpy, trampy smell. Basically, it involves me on all fours, um, <laughs> with a mouthful of chewing gum, and you farting into my mouth, uh, at which point I will then blow the fart out with a lovely minty fresh breath. <laughs> and that's in the scene, Jonathan. <laughs> You're at a dinner party. It's the annual mental hospital idiot bull for the hospitals in in the whole county of of mental idiot hospitals. You're in your tuxedo, you're looking good. They've given out deviled eggs. Oh dear. Sure to be a bit of a social faux pas in an hour or two when you start crumpling, crumpling out of your bum hole. Disgusting. The MD is there. The the managing director of the hospital and Mm. said to you the, the, the evening before, he said, God! Damn it, Peter Parker! <laughs> Fart out of your ass tonight! You're fired! Get me photos of that no good spider trap! And, oh no, this is terrible for Jonathan Holmes. If he farts a devil neck farty smell in the ballroom that evening, he is going to be fired. No problem. As you feel your motions, <laughs> you reach into your tuxedo pocket and bring out a small bell. It's a little silver bell. Give it a little tinkle. I will emerge from under one of the tables where I've been eating scraps of hors d'oeuvres that have fallen off of people's plates. On all fours, scurry over, possibly just going... Just so that you know I'm coming. Is that an alarm sound? Just Yeah, just a little sound out of my mouth. Um, you know, I'm chewing... Uh, all sorts of chewing gum, different types, Bubba Bubba as well, just because I like the taste of it. And I'm just crawling over, wearing um, 
um, life fronts and uh, army camouflage tank top. <laughs> and I come out. Rah! You unbelt your trousers, pull down your tr- your your pants and underpants. Why? Squat a little. Just say, excuse me, everybody. Uh, I'm just <laughs> drawing attention to it with uh, <laughs> announcing uh, that I'm already well, they, there. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Go they ahead. Know yeah. What's going on? They'll be. Mm. They'll be saying, "What's this idiot doing? Is he one of the patients who got let out? Is it that guy that 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 no good Jonathan Holmes released, <laughs> like he's Jonathan Crane or something?" Uh, but no, no. Um, you will just say, "Attention, everybody! I'm just about to fart." And I've been eating deviled eggs, and there was a risk that I would stink out this entire ballroom. And in the background, you just see your boss going, He's going to embarrass me in front of the Pope! And then you just squat a bit, just say, No more problems, ladies and gentlemen, because I've bought the Sterling Core fart filter. You pull your cheeks apart, like proper apart, to the point where it hurts you. Um, I. (laughs) <laughs> I crawl up, get my mouth, just get my lips right in the gully of it between the cheeks, just so I'm clamped like a <sighs> like a suction cup Garfield in a car window. Just clamped over your ring piece. You let the fart out into my mouth. I swallow, because I'm, <sighs> I'm just that kind of classy dame. And then just breathe out and go... <laughs> I'm, I'm on my knees and my arms are out wide just 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 wafting around <laughs> and then everyone's smelling just going, oh my god this is gonna smell like proper evil devil egg but wait a minute mm. smells like orbit gum <laughs> And then you, as you're pulling up your trousers, you say, that's because it is Orbit Cum, the smell of, thanks to the Sterling Core fart filter. Who wants to buy one? And at that point, the crowd are going fucking insane. I'll buy, I'll buy, how much? God damn it, Parker! You've done it again! How much for one? Five hundred dollars! Fuck that! Have a thousand! <laughs> Well, why is he that enthusiastic and have a thousand? Who need for a, for a thousand different people or just how can there? There's only one. It's you. Wow. He's giving you a thousand dollars because he's so impressed. He's going to pay double. Cheap. Oh, <laughs> but you just have to breathe in people's farts then. And uh, and and go. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad for you. I feel bad for you. Wouldn't that be sad? Not if I'm making five hundred dollars a pop, mate. Mm, that is pretty good. Available to rent for any function, um, except for you, Jonathan, who you'll be free. Ah. Just as an employee of the company, it was a Sterling Core QA tester, and uh, we will need to test it a lot. I'm gonna need to suck down a lot of your package. <laughs> Why would you want to? That would be so sad. Can you picture doing that? Really, just taking in. A fart into your mouth? Mouth suck fart? Ouch. Ouch. Converting sharing. Converting what? (laughs) Thing. Converting sharing. That's that's the policy of Sterling Core. That's that's the business we do. It's like Little Big Planet, but with... (laughs) (laughs) There, uh, someone did alert me. I hate to ruin your plan because it's a great plan and it's, it is a superior plan to the one that's already on the market, but there are special underwear that are filled with charcoal grounds that you can fart into and it filters the sulfur smell out. So, but you always just have to sit on some like charcoal granules. I don't like that. That's inconvenient. (laughs) That's inconvenient. And you just, I mean, imagine all the sulfur just trapped in those pants. It would burn through them and smell like Satan. <laughs> I, I'm not that confident that they would work. I don't think charcoal is the end-all be-all for fart yeah. filtering. Yeah. A ma- for fart a ma- filtering. My mouth full of mint is... is- <laughs> How loud is that dog? 
It's the, it's the loudest dog in the world, Jonathan. 